Evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Fortress TV for our ETF to our invite map cup day number two for the lower bracket finals. My name is Lucky, and tonight I'm joined by Beta on production and Dum Tum as my co cast. How's it going, Pop? Pretty good, pretty good. Watched some games yesterday as well here, and yeah, I'm always interested to see the two maps. I've uh, been in development for a while, and I'm keen to see how things are coming along over here. Yep, so uh, after yesterday, I did manage to catch a little bit of it, but not too much because, you know, I'm lazy and didn't really watch the, uh, the things, but I saw that Team Mac, unfortunately. Has uh, has fallen already. Uh, big L. Did you catch any of the games, Tom? I caught one of theirs, I think. And it was like, uh, I tuned in for a couple of minutes. It's like, oh, that music free. And then I come back a couple of minutes later. Wait a second. Why is it closed now? <laughs> so they put up a fight. It took them a minute to get there, but it wasn't quite enough to, to come back. Yeah, 07s uh, for Team Mac, Pandemic XC, Danny, Charlie, Mac, and Shock all taking a fall. And uh, it's the first, uh, first member of Team Witness. Uh, to be uh, eliminated out of the uh, all the witness players that we've got in the box, um, but um, right at the top, the ones that we're going to see um, at the moment is we're going to see Team Pappy versus Team Piss is how I like to call it. Um, so we've got KPM Phoenix, Pappy Haunts, Phil Auto versus Balder Gazi and Piss himself, Soapy Meister, huge and agent, and the big name on here is a uh, oh Soapy playing on NA Ping. Yeah, it should be an interesting one for sure. I mean, I did watch the game yesterday and it was very, very close. So really anything could happen. I think, however, uh, by the time we got to sub base, especially, uh, I think it was Poppy's team just pulled ahead a little bit more than on the entropy map. So maybe they've thought over how they want to approach that second map a little bit more. Maybe they can find some ways. I mean, it's only in all of these maps lifespan. So there is no like set meta game for many things on these maps. You still have a lot of ways to improvise as you go along. Yeah, I'm saying um, also, it's nice to see in this cup as well that there's a lot of like um, top Div 1 talent into Div 1 slash Prem. I mean, you've got Huge, you've got Agent, you've got Blank, like all these players that have like um, been dying around the scene you got phil as well i just saw as well on the on pappy's roster but you've got all these players that are kind of like uh have been in the scene for a while they they've grinded their way up they're in division like one or bottom prem this kind of thing so it's good to see these players as well uh getting some experience with the uh, top dogs yeah for sure for sure always nice to see here that everyone gets a bit of a chance but at the end of the day there's still supposed to be high competition uh for what we have is sort of a gameplay that the map gets tested with uh this past few days actually has some fault and structure to it, unlike if it just was funny mixes for anyone else, I guess, as well. Better showcase for anyone as well to see how things might actually look like on here. And uh, we'll see how, I guess, everyone can fare in comparison uh, to, I guess, some of the much more top dogs now here. Yeah, indeed. Um, I'm uh, in... Been, well, I have been enjoying these maps um, for entropy and sub base for a little while now, and I've been watching the slow development that Yellen and uh, Equal. Big shouts to those two guys, by the way. Give them big hugs. Um, but they uh, have done such a great job with um, filling out entropy because I know before, like a lot of people's, like even though it's kind of unfounded, gripes were, oh, it's not finished. Everything's all flat textures and stuff like this, and the second is too big. But we were just talking about it before, and it feels like everything looks a lot more seamless. It, everything feels a lot more stylized, put together well. So um, I'm, I don't know about you, how do you feel about these maps? Uh, yeah, I think Entropy is my, uh, my preferred map of the two. I'm very biased towards uh, anything that's closer to Gullywash than something like Processes, for example. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> uh, that's why I need to slice of this. Obviously, this takes a lot more from Badlands. That's the main inspiration here, by all means. You can tell. Uh, you talked about like the second being big and like, compared it to Badlands. That thing is gigantic on that map. <laughs> yeah, uh, Compared to that, this is like very small, actually, in comparison. But uh, those two maps, Badlands and Gullywash, are like an archetype that we don't have a lot of. A lot of maps take mostly towards the process, such an approach of map making. Even sub does to some extent, although it has certainly a lot more other unique things going on than just being, uh, you know, a process map, for example. Um, yeah. It's very interesting to see what you can do with the, uh, the layout that Badlands provides as well and just give everything a bit more of a spin. The last is obviously very reminiscent uh of everything you have here but like hey, the flank into the point is like very different you have a lot more sight on it now as the holding team but it's still there you have to worry about it uh you still have like low ground ring around the whole point you have the little bit of a spire that connects with everything uh i think one thing that i find very funny about this is the, the one flank entrance that goes from mid to second that is basically just the what if scenario if you could go from 
big door on gully watch just directly up into upper balcony in second yeah and literally <laughs> there's, like the, there's like this little grade in the corner where people like to hide on the upper area of the balcony in second that like you can look down and see elbow or something on on gully bit um i maybe that was actually accessible in the past it's been since removed i don't know but uh there's always been the idea what if you could just jump up that thing and this map just says okay now you can basically do that uh, good yeah. luck <laughs> and I like okay. it. Uh, this and subbase have uh, one thing in common which is that you have this sort of much more big doorway of the flank that connects mid and second where it's like this fairly large area that lets you basically walk past the combos hold that they will normally have into the flank behind into lobby right away like gully wash has for example and a lot of maps don't have that and i kind of like that it's like you know how on gully wash time people just like playing with people behind and that gives you a lot more access to do that yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, one thing as well that I was actually going to talk about is like previously um, with uh, with this map, one one of the things that was raised about um, the map is that when you have a lack of props, you've got you end up having like less places to put like sneaky sticky traps. And now we've got this foliage. There's buckets yes. dotted around. There's just bits and bobs, like, you know, all over the map that you can start hiding stuff in. I feel like Demo Man's gonna have a lot easier time because it wasn't just a lot of Demo Man getting absolutely battered by soldiers the last time that. I watched this map and they were both bottom scoring on the demos so i feel like that is actually gonna maybe even some things out i mean i can't wait to see people get creative with that kind of thing even on last there's a bucket in the corner that i spotted that I was like that would make a disgusting sticky trap that's like but, two of them actually yeah <laughs> one for the two. high ground too just if you don't I, that probably will splash on people walking past it too closely as well on the high ground one yeah. so that, that's very funny if it matters yeah no i like it a lot here a little more the more detail comes into the more identity it gets anyway and uh regardless of that a lot of thought is already being put into hiding spots you have the the truck on second for example that's very deliberately little corner to hide in as well which will definitely uh punish people uh the first few times they don't come across it but that's just how it goes right you you learn from experience yeah you did, did. i mean i I wouldn't even know where to start when when it comes with like doing this kind of thing i think they're absolute geniuses you know uh, those, those two making this map just being able to like come up with the stuff and choose the stuff that looks the best and also making it so stylized i mean it it feels like i don't know it feels like i'm looking at uh, you ever watch chernobyl like that tv series <laughs> it feels like i'm watching that looking at this yeah map. this has very cozy like post-apocalyptic soviet block vibes. <laughs> yeah literally yeah <laughs> yeah I, i'm about it it's not something we have subbase uh you know little snowy little uh well maybe not arctic but you know like uh cold area water base kind of deal it's like what if you yeah. could play tf2 on like the the landing area from metal gear solid one or something like that it's very cute you have a lot of identity with the you can see uh, the submarines there's a torpedo you can stand on as well so right away i mean that map is uh, i think and even last time we had it was a little bit more less detailed um than this is yeah. uh, right now but right away like you <laughs> knew what aesthetic he wanted by the end of it yeah i mean also maybe this is yellow bringing stuff back well because we've got badlands gets banned here, here we go we're going into theory time badlands gets banned out of the pool everyone's very sad and the reason that everyone is sad about badlands going is that spire is no longer in the game and obviously everyone's been adding to mg possibly spire for the a, worst part for of an the eternity. map possibly the worst part of the map but still and he's found a map he's built a map cp entropy and he's put a spire in it any, uh... Yeah, I mean, kind of both maps have that going, though, right? Just the yeah. approach of, okay, what do I like about these other maps? This one's very Spire. clearly a lot of Badlands. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's for sure, but just in general, this one's very much, what if Badlands wasn't stupid? Yeah. Uh, what if Badlands, <laughs> but you couldn't walk back into Forward Spawn? I can't believe no pro version ever fixed that, by the way. I'm going to yeah, jump geez. in here just so they can all hear you. I jumped around to this Spire Scout earlier. It's disgusting as a scout. Like, you can hide behind that little nipple thing up there. It, it oh, jeez. So you know. It's so good, so good. There's things to think about on these maps. I like it. Uh, and then uh, Subbase has like, you know, it takes a lot more of sunshine. However, uh, you also have the mid fight being very thought of, okay, what if we just take granary things as well? You have to create obviously a lot of maps, but specifically on granary, they're very uh, pivotal on mid fight, but also the catwalk right away comes to mind there as well. And then on last, it, it you know, first instinct on last on Subbase, when we get there, I guess we could talk about it again. It's like such a sunshine last kind of deal. However, then you realize, wait a second, why is there just a river here? And you, instead of going under the point, it just basically goes into secret on the left. And it adds so much to the map. That's just, both these maps have that. Just the means to be, get to the point easy on last is so huge. And I'm so glad we do that more days now, where a lot of the other maps just have these free entrances, like straight 
on front of the other team holding that they see everything from, like controllers or on Snakewater, for example. Yeah. Getting to point as a playmaking tool is huge, and it's why Gullywash is one of my favorite maps, because you have to actually worry about point and instead of just worrying about the doorways. Yeah, and also um, one other thing is that we had uh, snow in maps taken away from us ages ago with, you know, Viaduct became product, and uh, they took the snow away, they made it grass and stuff, so it's put snow back in the game, that's all. Yeah, that's well, the only it turns out you can have white textures and not put snow particles in the map as well. That's, wow, who <laughs> Those <knew>? two things <laughs> do not have to be both there at the same time. Weird how that works. But yeah, I mean, hey, get some slightly more unique looking maps as well. Um, yeah, we'll see how it all works out as well. Oh god, I just looked at last. I didn't even realize how many plants there are when I was here yesterday. Uh, speaking of last, actually, I mean, it makes sense with the theme as well, yeah. Very nice, funny hiding spots. I'm sure someone will just like hide in there and people will walk past them when you back up. That'll be very funny. Um, but yeah, speaking of last points as well, something that I have not seen enough of is just people really going deep diving into sentry spots. And for what it's worth, if there was a very easy broken gun spot on these maps already, and or, and maybe there has been a past version and it's been like worked on since, yeah, we probably would have seen it already, um, which I guess is reassuring in some ways. However, Sentry Gun Meta will certainly develop if these maps get more play, and Entropy will be in the next ETF Time Map Cup too, I believe, preseason in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, so we'll see more experimentation on that in the future. Yeah, and there's, there's that matters holes. tremendously, right? How people approach last holes will change so much when you figure out where you want to actually put your gun. Yeah, there's one spot that I thought of like immediately, which was just like directly on the point itself, like on that front. Yeah. If you're looking out of last, the front left of the point, if you just put a gun there, it covers literally every door. Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how things just come along with that as well. And um Seeing as these maps are still in development, uh, if anything approaches Snakewater TV in the middle, uh, they're still fixing that. One thing I do like about these maps, that some maps do more than others as well. Uh, Metalworks is a good example of doing it well, for example, is that spawn gun cannot be good on last holes, right? Yeah, If no, you have a good spawn gun, it's disgusting. Process has a surprisingly good spawn gun and it's miserable. Like, you can reach point without touching the, the gun range, but it's, like, very annoying and tiny corner of the point when there's a spawn gun it's really stupid this map has the the sunshine wall basically at the point um sub base as well has like a big wall in the middle like sunshine like metal works yeah. that just prevents you from just having a gun cover everything on point as well really good to not have that be like as impactful as it could be in a much worse thought out scenario yeah because imagine that, that wall gets taken out you know you just end yeah. up with an un unpushable last point and then we're back to square number one with these like unpushable people be able to like, get out of spawn from rotating out uh, from away from an uber and like get back to damage on point a lot easier as well if it wasn't there and yeah. i think that's also really good like sp rotating through spawn needs to waste at least some time and uh all, all the good last points at least waste some time having that happen even snakewater wastes a lot of time getting back to spawn from uh to point so like even last point we think of as traditionally being much more annoying than others at least have something like that going for them to balance things out again once you in spawn it will take you time to get back and that is something the pushing team uh, has an advantage for them indeed and uh if you've just joined us ladies and gentlemen uh we are covering off the uh entry slash sub base invite cup this day number two uh and this is the the second cup which is, i believe has been run for this and uh, they just play tested some maps and Hopefully, after some playtesting has been done and everything's been, you know, put through and everyone's happy with the map and stuff, that we'll actually see it in some seasons to get some like actual like gameplay going on it, which would be uh, yeah. very fun. More matter of game development. Like I said, we'll have uh, each of our map cups coming the end of the month, I believe, as well. So just a little bit while off, we'll probably see some changes to entropy until that point. Uh, however, it's not the only map in the cup. Subbase isn't in there. However, Sultry's back. We've seen it last preseason, I Ooh. believe. That's a map that, oh God, I feel like I want to like it more than I do right now. There's a lot of cute things it does as well. I like the flank on second, but I don't like what the po how the point play works on the second yeah, point. Yeah, It's a bit I strange. Um, so we'll see. Maybe it comes along. It looks nice for sure. Uh, and also clear cuts back for some reason. I don't know. I mean, uh, NA propaganda never will end, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> on that one. We have bagel, we have product, we're fine. We have two good cough maps. Why do we need a third one? I don't know. But whatever, yeah. I guess. We don't want to play too much cost during the season. I mean, like, you know. I, I guess in the upper divs, it's it's maybe okay with the, the whole, like, pick ban thing that they did in I Pro. I think two is means... fine anyway. Like, once you reach playoffs in pick bans, like, at least you can avoid one of them, but you still have to actually have a cough to get, like, out of matches where the other team is at least somewhat all right on it, right? Yeah. 
Because, like, otherwise you end in a scenario like Highlander where they have four cough maps instead of uh, any less. And in pick bands, it means that you always will get a cough map if you just want to. It's very strange. Yeah. We'll see. For now, no cough today, just 5 CP, good old fashioned 6v6 on very new maps. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we are going live, ladies and gentlemen. We're heading to our first mid after a uh, slightly long and delayed wait uh, to get to this first mid. And I'm going to be watching QG here. He's going to be rolling out through Lug, and our pack and fill is roughly the same time as him. And uh, my god, this mid is absolutely gargantuan. They're slinging stickies. A very early tag onto Moolah, though. He eats a sticky. And uh, looks like everyone's kind of grouping up on this right hand side. Haunts is currently sitting behind inside of House, not really doing too much. Moolah is taking a lot of spam, down to half HP already. And they're just waiting to go. Soapy Meister in with the bomb already, strafing all the way up and around. Just going for a little bit of a fake bomb. Huge getting pushed all the way back as well by these scouts. Receives an arrow. Haunts is going to be the first one to go down here. And I think the blue team are just going to call it quits with that one pick and leave. Yeah, it's been interesting. That yesterday when they played against each other, the midfights were very different. We just had people rolling out enemy troll trying to be quick, much like Poppy's doing right now. <laughs> However, that one luckily gets shot down. They get KP end at the same time too. That's actually huge. Suddenly, uh, like very uneventful midfight turns into very hectic ending here. We'll get them the win and all of the sudden it looks a lot better. I like the idea from Horns. You see that on, on Rack now for things actually, though, for the people just like stay late in one of the entrances to mid and just hope the other team approaches from there and just get behind him this way. Didn't work out this way, he just got in front of a scout at a really unopportune time, so that little delayed entrance flank play basically didn't quite work out. It's a cute option to have here, but we'll see how it all pans out now on second. So, second point, with even Uber, this is the kind of scenario where I think people just figuring out the map really will show who just knows things more right now. There's this, these stalemates that usually will eat a lot of time in your matches, we'll see what they have. Yep. Oh! Oh, oh, that's that's absolutely disgusting that they do that. Holy God. Did you say that on the stream, Peter? Okay. <laughs> this is, oh, I, no. I wish he did. Who is he talking to? <laughs> Who is he talking to? Yeah, the sticky's clip inside of the rock, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on second. That's probably so easily fixed. Yeah, maybe just, maybe just a bit fixable, but oh well, very, very cool. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. We'll find this stuff out and uh, see these disgusting little spots they've got going on. But yeah, we've got a bit of a stalemate. So if he did try going in, but he got obliterated by scouts on this high ground. Once again, playing around the Spire, kind of unbeatable. Two scouts or one scout on high ground. So B has managed to slip now in behind. And QG is going to be pressuring that door as well, trying to get KPN off it, trying to get a little bit of space. Soapy is in again with the bomb. Lines the first rocket. Scouting behind onto Moolah. He gets the force. KPN is going to, sorry, 91 is going to find that force. So good stuff from him. But looks like the red team are now getting pressured in towards mid as well. And they're going to see what they want to do here. And I think QG is going to be hung out to dry. Yeah, Kino by Demo saw the Devil Man just rotate away from the combo a little bit to help with the Mad Bomb and saw the moment where the Sticky Trap wasn't watched, gets in just fine, force of the damage they have, a really, really awkward Uber to have to be used by the Red Team as well, they're definitely chasing, but they're not getting there in time, so nice chase by the blue team, things will slow down here a little bit just because everything takes a while, we're rotating back, and Red Team tries to take advantage of this as much as they can, and Mula will go down for it, they're trying not to use so long instead of taking the 4v4 better Uber fight in the mid-second transition, and I mean, they're kind of winning the fight. It's really ugly though right now. I mean, both medics go down, so really they won an Uber exchange if you want to think about it this <laughs> yeah. way, but it's not the best fight the way it all ended up in the end here. I mean, props to the red team. They saw a small opportunity to at least get something out of this bad Uber, and it worked out well enough to maybe lose mid still, yes, but not any more than that, it looks like. Yeah, it could have gone much worse than that, but the the thing is as well, you, you go on to this even uber thing, but taking that fight into second and anyway, when you've only got demo two scouts medic and you go in with your pocket scout and the flank scout is nowhere to be seen, it's always going to be a dangerous time for your med, so he just gets bombed and goes down while they get the kill onto Moolah, so that's kind of the trade-off that you make. You you are pretty much permanently sacrificing your medic every time you do that, so uh, just got another stalemate back where we were before on second, but this time it's flipped around. Let's see if the red team are as capable of holding second as the blue team were previously. Yeah, we'll see. You talked about high ground on many of second points, right? It's always the pivotal thing that you have to work around. Process has a mini spire, for example. Lots of maps do to some extent here. We'll see how people will work their way around it this time around. We saw an attempt to play the flank and get behind through the high ground before. Not much came of that last time. We'll see. Maybe they have different ideas about it. If not, the combo is staying in that big door area, if you want to call it that way. And see if they can somehow approach from there. Not much coming up yet, but they're gonna have to keep trying here. I think, uh, unlike a literal big door area in Gullywash as well, the actual doorway in the lower area is much smaller, so getting like big angles, peaks from that is a lot harder, I feel like. Yeah, Haunts is also getting pinched in this top door. It looks like we got a bomb in. 
Happy does go in, but now he's got to fight Boulder as well, so they lose both their soldiers in the end. And now it's going to be the red team pushing forwards, going in through this right-hand side door. And the blue team are post up on the high ground. Good pipes coming out from Phil. He manages to catch two directs onto the red team as they're coming in through the door. And they're really unable to do anything here. Pressuring hard as Phil. Massive damage has been dealt. They drop huge from the Uber. And this is incredible now for the blue team. They're going to be able to move all the way forwards with this Uber charge still remaining. And start getting their way in. A demo being dead is pretty huge. Yeah, that's going to help a lot getting through any small doorways here. However, Philip trying to get uh, a little ahead of time. Almost gets melted by Scout. Gets away with a dodge just fine. Happy with the kill up top as well. That's the bombs coming through. Trying to make some space here. Soldier gets eaten alive, but he will get disconnected from the rest of the team. However, he might just out DM KPN. And suddenly, this is not looking so bad anymore. They just... They got forced back very early, but they just won out on DM there a little bit, it looks like. And maybe they're getting away with it here. Trying to refight as well. Even numbers. But the match nowhere close to the team, so... Trying to take the high ground quickly back, and that might just work out. So we must have spawning up a 41 in blue as well. I mean, the numbers are just getting better and better for the side of red. Gotta keep your eyes on the flank, otherwise they get uh, rudely awakened by horns maybe going behind. He's looking for the opportunity, but they have eyes on it. Not gonna happen here. Doesn't matter. They won't try anyway, though. Puppy in the sky. See what's <laughs> up. Scouts in high ground in any map, in any scenario, is just a tough one to get through. Will at least live, but that's the best thing about that play unfortunately that they, they, they didn't die it's absolutely horrendous trying to bomb into that position you just end up getting absolutely demolished by these scouts i mean pappy went for a high bomb he didn't even get in that close of a range with the scout and just gets battered back to the low ground so really really <laughs> difficult time trying to get in here. yeah we've all, been there, right? we've all been yeah. there right we've all been like anywhere if you imagine like the mid-second uh stalemate on on process and you try to get your bombs in as well <laughs> and yeah. both scouts are just sitting on point it feels rough sometimes you need something else and uh, at least you have the sort of like pressure tool on the flank to help with that potentially but didn't find your opportunity for this time around unfortunately this time however Maybe things will change. Get a quick soldier play in the back lines going. See oh. if some heads turn up. That's only gets so nice that to watch out. But he's not alone as a scout as well. Tough times for the soldier in the back to get much. And it's just not enough for the rest of the team to make a play off of it. Yeah, we did have uh, Agent managing to get a nice bomb to Meister to help out Haunts. Help out on the kill on Haunts, I should say. But uh, pretty good stuff. Meister is going to go down in the front lines, though. Phoenix has picked up that one. He's dominating on a 6k right now. Phoenix is an absolute machine. Uh, and uh, they're going to start making their way into second on this low ground once again, Dum Tum. But I don't know how much I believe in this. This huge is just holding that doorway. Mula eats a ton of damage, and now it's going to leave Pappy to die. And they're going to have to start retreating back out. And we're down to 60 seconds on the clock already. Yeah, that might have been isolated to entirely just two points right now. And not any well, so the time reset is coming in closely. But it's not been... At least without a lack of trying on the blue team from getting in here, they just can't find success just yet. It's a new map, finding the place that worked might just take a little bit more time than the two days. And I guess previous cup they had to really think about it. And so far, nothing is finding success just yet. We'll see. It's another 30 seconds, maybe a rush play here could still work out. But the more rush it gets, the more prone to mistakes we are. And they're starting to make their way in, clearing off these sticky bombs. And now they're all ready to go, but... Spawning in the doorways is pretty much every explosive class. Ampus is just holding onto the flag as well. Now they're starting to enter in through the doors. A pipe hits Phoenix right in the face. And once again, just holding all the way back. They're behind the second point, but they're able to hold it from there just because of the sheer range. They're just throwing everything at them in the kitchen sink. Yuji's now getting bombed. He goes down. They need some cap time, though. The Uber comes out on the point. Uh, use on the point equals win. And it's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. It was just starting to actually look doable too, like so tough to get in here, but the moment they had some space, got someone isolated, demo and stepped out of the line, starting to go well here, they just went too slow to do it in the end. Didn't give themselves enough time here against the few seconds left they had after the Uber came through. So back to mid we go, maybe big old big swing of momentum on the mid fight right away will change things up here a little bit, we'll see who takes home the mid fight this time around. Last one was surprisingly slow, a lot more tame than I've seen yesterday out of these two teams. Maybe things will go that way this time around as well. Indeed, and now going forwards, Ams is going to go super low. Haunts is getting in so deep, on top of Agent. They managed to get the kill to use as well, Fur with a long range pipe, and also Boulder is going to be in here. But Agent's taking his sweet time to get out of here. He's going to get caught on the low ground, and Mula now just needs to survive this one soldier, as well as Demon, who's ratting around in the back lines, and he's going to be just fine picking up some health packs with KPN. Doesn't really want to cap solo, Phoenix is going to start babysitting him. Yeah, it was surprisingly simple by the blue team. They just saw the bombs coming, reacted with good focus fire, and that was just curtains from there. They didn't get the didn't let the soldiers have any space to take there after they tried to get in, just melt them instantly. 
Make the life misery, and here we are. Big momentum swing in their favor. A little bit of a plain backline, like you say, play behind. Ooh, Might be cute as an idea, but not gonna happen just now. Like you said, there's two kills going that way already. You got play in the backline to play up front. Asian might win critically here. This will only matter if they hold the last point. With Uber this at against 6 v4 odds on numbers here. And look at that. You pop in, you gotta play on point, and you're between a rock and a hard place at that point. They have to rush the point against invincible people. What are you gonna do here? Looks like not much. As it turns out, just die on point. It's about as good as it gets, and that gets Poppy's team to point. God damn it, Moolah is so good. Phoenix getting, uh, Phoenix goes in, kills the damn man before the push even happens. They go in, Phoenix immediately plays the point, and he gets the flash right as the rockets are connecting with his head. Because Moolah is just so damn good at this game. And now we're heading to another mid fight. And uh, looks like Phil's going to be a little bit faster this time around in comparison to Huge. And uh, they're going to be slinging those stickies across once again. The last bit if I went in favor of the blue team. And it went all the way to last in the end. Um, but let's see if they can do it again here. Haunts is hiding the back line. Does get the pick onto Soapy Meister as they're going to start initiating. And uh, just strafing around. Pappy's going to require a bow. Phoenix is pretty weak as well. So they're just going to consolidate. But the red team here have decided that they're all going to escape this point. And Haunts is walking forwards. Gets cleaned up by Ams. And uh, they are really starting this push once again. They're going directly into second, but this might be an overcommit here. Yeah, Poppy just wanted to have on Horn, but got baited into a really bad position there in the end. And look at that, they're just keeping up momentum. They're expecting them a choke. They were completely right on that, going the other way instead. Gets them all the way into mid really quickly and puts them in a really rough spot. KPN suck without any help. Goes down early, they're trying to extend from that. Look at that, Force comes through. And uh, Boulder is really weak, but he's getting away. Not quite, actually. We'll go down. Very surprised these teams do not want to exchange these at all, but I mean, decision has been made. They're losing two people because of it, trying to just run away with the Uber hand. No one wants to use whatsoever. I'm really, really surprised to see that. But I mean, oh. it's still a new bad in the end. It looks like the blue team wanted to counter pause a little too badly. Yeah, I mean, Pappy had definitely the right idea, but they hung around a little bit too long on the combo, which ended up making them just immediately die. But it looks like they do get the mid capture through. They managed to surround this uh, medic as well. So Agent's going to go down here. They're going to clean up another and another, and Soapy is just a respawn. So they managed to get a wipe out of it in the end. Nice coordination from the blue team there. Yeah, I mean, I really wanted to see the exchange. Maybe I'm just monkey brained like that, but it still works out <laughs> in the end, I, I guess. You know, coming up on top here. Even if they almost get punished really badly for trying to hold to begin with, but I mean, goes back that way here. They have a small lead already, but there's so much time left here. Better extend a little bit on that if they can. However, ooh, Phoenix maybe wants to go a little too far in a few places. Overextends him to lobby, will go down. Sort of weak, Poppy will live at least as, as they get the second point. Quite fall apart just yet, but the red team still might try a little bit here. Soldier scout already taking space, bomb on point. Philip really weak of that as well. Means he will have spent some time on beam. No one oh, else nice will for that. But a ooh, big one there. Adds with the bomb on the combo. The wider just healing up and does so much damage. And while he's doing all of that, looks like he pushed out a little bit too desperately there. Yeah, and then I'm getting the second point. No one covered off horns after he took that 1v1. So, uh, easy stuff uh, from the blue team. No one uh, went back for him, basically. That's all it comes down to. In the end, that happens. It's uh, the game of Team Fortress 2. You are. Prone to back caps if you do not watch your flanks and all that jazz. So heading to another mid fight, 2-0 currently. Um, I mean, it's not looking exactly convincing. It's still pretty even. And uh, looks like Huji's going to make it a little bit before Phil. Start layering up those stickies on the ground. Just tag off these scouts. Those overheals now being stripped away and starting to move in now. Supermeister and Ams going in. High bomb into Moolah. Good damage to the They find two immediately. Ams is the only one going down. Looks like they're going to try and get Haunts on top of the med. They do pick up Agent, which is the saving grace of this as well as Boulder. So now it's a 2v2 in the end. Great damage onto 91. He finds another one. Haunts it's finding the kills, and now it's Phil and Haunts versus Huji. Huji just standing on this high ground. Does find the pipe, and I've got a demo 1v1. Let's see who plays demo v demo MG the most. Uh, not Huji, he just pulls off the melee and then runs away. <laughs> Go sword pussy. No, he's hitting all of them. <laughs> I don't think one of those was a direct hit. All of them just exploded in front of Phil when he died. <laughs> Iron Bombi. Oh, classic, dude. See, Iron Bomber post off is still good. You just gotta know what you're doing, and apparently that entails and not actually hitting anyone, but they still explode in the face anyway. Yeah, you just hit it close to where they are, kind of like a rocket launcher, and that's all you've got to do. Lock and lock could never. No, could never, could never. Imagine if they changed it so it doesn't smash on the ground but explodes, that'd be disgusting. But anyway, um, we have got horns going down immediately, and they're starting to retake this point, but Agent, he gets piped and sticky and goes down to very low HP, and Mulo is even lower as he's currently in the respawn queue, but 
Uh, Phoenix trying to fight from the low ground. Ozzy Huji is just defending himself with sticky bombs. He deaths them and gets forced away away from the point. Pappy goes down in the end, but KPN struggling with Phoenix. They're trying to find players. They do find two. Boulder up with his medic though, so he heals are on him. Let's see what they can do. And it looks like they're both going to decide to retreat from this. And just get some kind of hold going on. Agent managed to retain his uber charge during that, so good job from him. Uh, Red Team falling prey a little bit to just bad focus calls that, you know, you I guess might expect had happened once in a while in these mixed teams of scenarios that we have here. Uh, just everyone wants to shoot a different soldier, one jumping forward, and they just shoot different guys approaching them, get completely stuck, sandwiched between people. Uh, it's not the end of the world, it was loafing down. Well, uh, going down as miserably as he did just now, oh, it's not as no. big a deal. He overlooked at that, thanks, just trying to pick apart Poppy already, and I mean... I guess it's working. Horns goes down. Poppy might just follow suit. He's so weak, can't really hold that anymore. And with that, there's just nothing left to hold to begin with. Not like they had a good position anyway. This is still no Uber on the blue team here and the red team. It's just going in right away. Yep, so they're just going to be firing it in. And that is the four times on the cap and it immediately goes through. Holy God. Yeah, um, that's what I was talking about before the game started. You have these sort of positions where you need to cover so much distance between point and spawn. Uh, it will look really good on uh, Uberad when you can just force them back with the invincible people pushing back and get to cap them in the meantime. Indeed, and uh, one thing I was going to mention as well, that on second, uh, the reason why the blue team actually ended up leaving was because Mula was on 20 HP, because Agent hit with two arrows from range. <laughs> 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 it's what you like to see from this is the kind of stuff you can That's expect from skill issues stand somewhere else idiot yeah <laughs> feeling a ball at the start of this mid he's bleeding already so he's got no overheals and Sophie's going in for a bomb off of that one but Sophie immediately cleaned up gets hovered in the air by these scouts Phil sorry huge gets bombed as well Phil going down in the meantime KPN very low haunts also very low and looks like the oh, no, agent oh, goes down with the final rocket onto agent very sad Oh, what a shame. Uh, that, anyway. was, that was the slow portraying him. He tried to surf something, but it hit the slope behind him. He just went up. <laughs> so unlucky. That's so sad. I always hate it. Hey, when that happens, when it explodes behind you, when you still dodge it, you're like, haha, yeah. you still die. Either way though, I mean, they they figured something out on what they want to do. They just want to like death corner them. Big bombs right away and just get them stuck in this little corner there on the mid fight. Yeah, it's been working so far. Factor. Yeah, we'll see if it works out in the future, but for now it's been doing work and starting to bring them back in the game. Yep, Philip caught on the low ground, Sophie going in for a bomb to Moolah. That, that ping is not going to stop him from killing that medic with the assistance of Yuji, so pretty good hit. Agent also building his Ubercharge on the point. Horn's going in for a bomb from behind, they don't spot him. He whiffs the air shot, but finds the final rocket, so that is going to bring the Ubers back to even. But it looks like they've got enough red players to just sack their lives in towards last. They don't want to wait around, they're heading in. Well, they're in by the point onto Pappy. Good damage is done to him. Sticky's half down on this point. Scout back on top of it. Good point from Phil as he finds another one and defends this point with his life. Yeah, that's something I've seen a lot of people try yesterday, even on even new scenarios. Just what if we didn't exchange? What if we just, like, basically do a sack wave for the sake of getting ourselves on point, right? Uh, you might just get away with it here. They certainly believed in that more than holding second after the fact and oh, almost got away with it, actually. I was expecting their Ubers to be a little bit more even than they are, but no one went to collect Agent for a long time. <laughs> so Moolah's up to 70% and Agent's on 30%. Maybe they... I don't know if they know about it at all, but, um, but they probably do due to the number of people that sacked onto that last point. But it looks like they are heading forwards already. Moolah up to 97%. They are going to get onto this point. Now, this is going to be difficult not using through this doorway. It's very small. They've got four explosive classes firing through the door. Muna just slips in, though, not eating a single point of damage. And lots of damage has been dealt in return. Boulder going down as well. Sophie's trying to take a 1v1 with Pappy, and no one's going to win that one out. And the second capture time is now coming through as they start taking this Uber in towards last. But Agent has his Uber, so this might be a little bit overzealous here as they have managed to build it out in the end. Phoenix is already trying to play point without the second capture going through. And Sophie's desperately trying to defend that doorway now. Bombing up onto the point, onto Phoenix. He finds the kill, but the force comes out from Pappy. And that's all they needed here. Just the threat of the push coming in meant they didn't want to just sit back there. They wanted to like, actually engage with their own Uber at some point, but it works out just fine. Get the force out as well. Death would change now on the other side as well. And looks at that, that we had this before. People just refusing to exchange. and uh, it's, They're cutting it so close all the time, but Mula might just be getting away with it. They lost a couple here and there, but the spawns are coming back. Barbie Phoenix back again. KPN still lost, but... I mean, they have the threat of the charge and they can't afford to throw any more resources at the second point on red. They need anything they can have on last. So Dimor has managed to slip his way in behind. He did get a little bit of capture time on that point, so back cap could be in the cards. He's going back in for it, actually. He's going to be on top of this point, capping it up, and someone needs to stop him. Um, they have used the Uber charge on last. They have stopped Dimor as well, so let's see if they can finish off this push. 
as they're going in really deep here. Amsic gets a lot of damage from Phoenix, but Phoenix in the end cleaned up by the flamethrower of Boulder. Bomb comes in from Phil, he gets the kill on Agent! Phil is going absolutely insane. They start to get every other blue player into this fight as well. Am's craters to Pappy's bomb, and they are going to start trying to play this point. Sticky's up in depth by Huge KPN just trying to play it. Mula on his lonesome on top right, and uh, looks like Demol's trying to focus him. Does get that kill in the end, and he's going to clean up the rest of these soldiers for a complete wipe. Everyone just trying to outdo each other here, back to back to back. That was like a really smart idea where Demol took off the backup there after they had capped. I mean, they sent a second guy in to just clean it up from there. Suddenly the Uber just gets eaten alive in the meantime, so the Philip kills everyone and Demo cleans up and it's all just barely working out for the red team as it turns out. The wacky sequence of events and I mean it's a small bit of momentum, it's not a big Uber ad but it's uh, at least a few moments before the mid spawns come in here. However, they are back now and they might just still beat them out of the punch on the point. Yeah, you may have Uber ad but you don't have that Uber yet and the blue team got down Noah and they're gonna pick up that frag because it's basically free and start making their way in towards second. Already just trying to see how much space they can take. Horns is already in behind though. He's in behind the combo. Massive damage has been dealt. Agent is not longed for this world. Yuji's launched onto the low ground and absolutely obliterated. Bulger tries to run up on Phil, gets piped in the face and cleaned up with the scatter gun. And that's gonna buy them a massive Uber advantage here. And doing his best nice air shot to Phoenix on the point by Phil like it's basically for nothing. Well, it looked nice at least. That's one for the frag movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on YouTube. If see you on YouTube, else. Phoenix. <laughs> Alright, well. Good enough for the blue team to take advantage of the whole situation. Back to second, it goes with big Uber all of a sudden. Nice conversion so far. Need one more push. And we've seen Uber pushes on this point. Can be very brutal if you just play way safe on the point uh, in spawn. It's a hard time to get back to point and block the thing when they get start getting cap time. So you really got to hit the sweet spot here. Boulder doesn't dare but do anything but spawn gun for the longest time here. It's going to be up front a little bit more now, but not before it's active. So that thing's just going to get shot down really quickly. I'm afraid everyone tries to rotate. They do have Debo hiding in the lower area. That could maybe help a lot with blocking point here. But Debo comes out so late, actually, that it might not matter at all. Yeah, and they crunch onto this heavy as well. The Uber is now going to fade, and they are, do try and get a scout on the point. Stickies have been dead, but Phoenix does manage to survive them. And Haunts is in behind the point, just trying to deal with this Pyro as the soldier. It's not exactly the greatest matchup in the world, but it's happening, and Phoenix is going to clean up that frag. Agent in behind the point. He needs to find a store in order to get it. Doesn't find it in the end. The capture goes through from the blue team. Yeah, they tried to hold Uber a little bit here, while it was still easy to do so, and sort of the heavy didn't get caught by surprise by that. Works out brilliantly here. I feel like a heavy later could be nice if a little unnoticed at first, but they just had full line of sight having to use that late on that. So works out brilliantly for the blue team. 3-1 lead in the last few minutes of the game. Looking pretty good for them. Indeed, and now we're heading to another mid-fight, and every single time they're rolling out through these lower doors and uh, just grouping up in this corner and waiting for stuff to happen. I mean, it looks like they're going for the same thing. Soap is going in for a very early bomb to Mula. Good damage has been dealt once again, but he strafes around, has managed to survive quite a lot. Demol runs in, tries to do what he can, but Horn's rocket jumps off his face, finding the kill. Ams is deep in behind, but Phoenix kind of knows about it, and so does Mula. They're definitely aware that someone may be slipping in behind. Right, we'll down in the front. <laughs> well, that might matter a little bit as well, actually. <laughs> maybe, maybe just a bit. It might make a difference, but yeah, uh, I mean, they had a few successes on the aggressive bit fights. This one, not one of them, will not work out at all for them on the red team, and it's a huge momentum swing the other way around. Amps behind, we've seen this movie before, got one nice shot of it last time this turn around, not even given that luxury here. Everyone's going back for that, they just want to kill it right away. Not worry about a like, sudden bomb killing anyone, getting the backup threat removed as well. Really, really nice. And now there's just a red team without an Uber, barely a garden, holding desperately on the last point. Yeah, they are opting for this gun behind the pillar, which does seem pretty good in theory, um, as it now locks onto the demo man. Forces him back into the corner, and he has to get a flash, but they do manage to put the gun back in this, um, back away, actually. They don't actually destroy it in the end. Huji gets cleaned up behind the point. No stickies on point. It is now playable. Phoenix could jump onto it, but Bowler is there with the Tommy Slav just defending the point and haunts. He's trying to desperately get in. He's popping in towards a heavy. You know how that goes in the end. He dies and they end, only end up losing two on the red team. And everyone else is basically dead on this blue team. KPN and Pappy are kind of lurking around trying to see what they can do on second. All right, clutch hold for them here. Getting the heavy out of spawn this late into the hole. It's truly saved them from a lot of trouble just now. And it's going to keep on going nicely from here. Mula far behind on Uber. So moment of swing for the red team looking really, really nice. It's going to be having... Uh, to do a lot right now, this Uber, they can't really get force of mid at all here. However, 
Reaper are still holding a little bit. Poppy's looking for the flank play as well, maybe see if they can get a bomb going, but is that gonna be enough to slowly, slowly pushing them away? But they're holding so close, they actually just decide to pull the trigger. Scout Solo, however, might not make this all that great. Oh a little my. bit of damage <laughs> late here, and all the projectiles coming so close to deleting them, but it's not quite enough. Moolah's just up there on the nip. He jumps all the way down. He's very happy with himself, managing to get that surf off. But Huji going down in this doorway. He can't hold that one anymore. And Agent getting pushed all the way back. KPN just runs in and finds it. They don't even need a charge to even get this one. They have 200% add dump tub. It's unprecedented. I mean, <laughs> you take what you can get, I guess. Clearly, this will be uh, going some places right now, right? This should just get like There's two down on both sides, maybe. But as long as you play careful, you probably can still fend off anything coming in way here even if you approach very very slowly in the end but looks like everyone on red understands what's happening they're trying to just fall back the last set of a hold they had a good one before one more like that and maybe they still have a chance maybe who knows probably not i mean it's really hard to hold at this point but they held it last time so if they can keep that up I mean, fair dinkum, but looks like Demol's building the gun over on this left-hand side this time around. Uber comes through shutter door, so the gun is going to get absolutely annihilated. Stickies are not on the point, unfortunately for them, as Huji's going to get caught in this corner. Mula's going to beat him to death with the head, and Phoenix is going to get flamethrower with his medic, and unfortunately everyone's dead. Demol with the Tommy Slav cleans up two, and a double kill sticky trap from Huge as well. I mean, absolutely horrendous push in the end uh coming out from the blue team and the red team i'm gonna start reclaiming second okay well we learned a valuable lesson which is do not be on low ground when there's a heavy and a pyro sandwiching you <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm glad we have this new map to figure that one out that was just very unfortunate timing for the uber to end while they were rotating like that will be a disaster red team clutching out the hold again like you said can be difficult to hold this one from what we've seen so far on this end but they're managing twice in a row now so I mean, at least with a little bit of clutch factor, it's doable, but they need a lot more clutch factor to still bring this back. Indeed, and now they're starting to move forwards here. They have to use the Uber Charge through the doorway. I did talk about this before. It's just such a small doorway. Not using through that door is pretty difficult, but Phil is insanely low. He jumps away onto second, retrieves an arrow from his medic, and he's going to be just fine in the end. But pushing out back onto the second is going to be harder than actually taking second itself, it feels like. Even though you come out on this high ground, you have to make it through the door. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one here if they even want to take their chance. I mean, right, it might be a fun cup at the end of the day, but you have 3-1 up, 3 minutes left. You might just play this a little careful right now just to get the map over and done with and to the time limit as fast as possible. Just minimize chances for you to mess up so that your opponent can't take advantage of any mistakes happening. Yeah, part that bus on last and see what you can do, but they are building up the sentry gun. Looks like they're opting for this left-hand side position, um, which is entirely spammable from main as uh, Demo just runs in and... Uh, Ams is behind him, does land a nice rocket, and is he going to get the kill here? He does in the end, Pappy's going to get it, and uh, jump all the way back to his medic and get healed up. So that is one pick, and that's just going to slow it down. I'm, doesn't look like anyone wants to counter sack at all. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised by this right now. All the pressure is on the red team with this little time left. they got to figure something out quickly. Like you said, the gun might be spammable, but I haven't got much of a chance for it yet. Uh, yet here to really make a dent into this hole just now. KPN got this uh, up to two right now, but there might be still a chance to get this to three if this takes any longer, even. Oh, there we go. They're, they're coming in, they want to make it happen. And uh, there's not really many places for them to stand to avoid the spam. They have to use other super very early, and now they've got a gap closed as much as they can, and Asia just jumps on top of the point. So much cap time, though. Incredible little play from him, putting the, taking out the Ubersaur and jumping on top of that point, and now. There's a lot of pressure that can come out from this red team. They are fighting into a disadvantageous uh, player uh, situation, but they are trying to make it happen. I'm just coming in through this flank a little bit like Alley and Metal works, how that feels, but uh, Phoenix Sync on this point is a 450 HP heavy. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, I like to compare that more so than to like the right side law entrance flank on, on Batman's last, except there's just a massive bit of wall removed that actually lets you jump and look at the flank a lot easier. Yeah. And also the, just the ceiling high as Ams tries to make happen again, but Haunts is there just to counter him out and not a lot can be done there. Boulder's running onto the point. So much Capton comes out, Demol, and Huge is just shooting everything he has at this point, but unfortunately he can't quite do it. And Demol still in the fight though, dealing lots of damage, but KPN's going to clean him up in the end. Agent is going to run out. Actually, he's not running out. He's running into last. Oh man, he's he, he, he having he one more fight ready to go. and kill him. Okay. Oh no, he's trying. Ah! No! Oh, <laughs> nice rockets from Haunts. Oh, so close. Unfortunate for Agent. If Horns would have lifted that because of the soldier buff uh, to self damage, we would have immediately removed that plugin from the game. I'm just saying. <laughs> Give Medic a shotgun. Allow him to push True. Fast. Yep, true. 
I'll design a medic. If medic had a shotgun, would people still use arrows? Surely not, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I think a shotgun would be too powerful. What is UG cooking? That man um, just hid in a corner, is behind himself. Down. Uh, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> look the one way I was coming from, but this has become the most scuffed demo MG of all time. Oh. Oh, oh never mind, for the pack. Ten million oh. sticks everywhere already. Wait oh. a second, <laughs> never mind. Let him cook. He's uh, he's not cooking himself, he's cooking Phil, apparently. Good lord. How he wins that is insane. One HP on that point. There we go, get KP in on the backlands as well. On to last it goes, no one has been just yet, but we sure have a lot of pressure on point already. Horns just desperately falls to engage with that, will go down pretty quick. There's the shotgun, uh, heavy I guess, not medic, oh. coming out to play, but Poppy's best efforts I think will uh, go a little bit fruitless here. Yeah, there you go. It's 3-2 anyway, but 8 seconds running on the clock. GG is called. Team Pappy going to be taking away map number 1 on CP Entropy. So a pretty good start, I would say. It wasn't exactly one-sided, but you can definitely see the points in this map that are more difficult than others in terms of trying to take. Yeah, I think what you mentioned, that the one like flank mid-second transition uh, area, what I would like to call big door on this map, uh, having a much smaller big door makes a big difference in how you approach it. Even, even the upper area, right, has like this one tiny doorway, first of all. Yeah. You have to get through, and then the lower entrance is pretty small as well. That changes significantly how you think about what, you know, would be an equivalent to big door otherwise, which has just a lot more spacious entrances to peek from. Yeah, indeed. I think that second take is pretty difficult, but, you know... Is what it is. Um, I, f I feel like personally that it's like something that we haven't really got outside of Badlands. You know, we we did mention we keep making comparisons to Badlands, but it's true. Like we that's don't by design. These... Yeah, and that's by design indeed. Um, but I don't think it's I don't think it's bad. I feel like it's a, just a new change of pace. You know, it's just an interesting, interesting second point in the end. Not sure if you agree with me. No, yeah, I'm down. I mean, we just got to learn to deal with it. You know. Yeah, I mean, like we said at the beginning, right? Yeah, these scouts on high ground are terrifying to deal with sometimes, but we more or less figured out to do stuff with that in mind on many of the other maps that have similar approaches to the high ground point hold for teams defending second. So if it's not working yet, you just got to get it back in the tank and give it some thinking, I guess. Yeah, indeed. And uh, we have got some uh, some logs on the screen for you, ladies and gentlemen, but Soapy Meister... That ping, uh, not doing too great for him on that map. But also, I've got to say that Soapy did kind of have the uh, the job of flank watch supreme during this uh, game. He didn't really get to go for that many playmakes. Kind of on the mid, he would bomb, die. Well, bomb and get the med, die, and then watch the flank. I mean, I guess if you're like 130 ping uh, soldier, that's probably the role you would want to take. Yeah, I exactly. suppose, preferably the one where... You're just forced to take less immediate fights a lot of the time. Probably the smarter thing to do is just play off the positioning knowledge a lot more than <laughs> having to go deep all the time. Uh, probably the right call here to make with the team structure that I have chosen to take. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to do what you can, I guess. And it's, it was close at the end of the day, so it's still doable. However, I'm concerned now. I mentioned I watched these two teams yesterday, and this was the one that was a little bit less close. Puppy's team seemed to have figured out this map a lot faster than their opponents. Now, things can change for sure. I mean, this last map, while... In many ways similar, it did look in how execution worked out a lot different from how they played yesterday, even if the end result was the same. So who's to say things will look the same here? Indeed, who is to say? But uh, the one thing that I've I've got to say again is like um, they've done a great job of fleshing this, uh, fleshing the entire map out. You know, they've just put stuff in and um, garbage is no longer called garbage because there's no dumpster there anymore, which is very this sad. This is so sad. Yeah. I am... In shambles, of this knowledge. Yeah. What do you? Imagine what would you call it? Dumpster. Now? Uh, what would you call it? Um, it's hard to call it anything. Crane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's a big crane on the second. You can't call it crane. But that's just point, basically. Yeah. yeah that's the high ground I mean, my point, I guess. But so. I mean, it could be called toxic as well, like, or just the flank, I guess. It doesn't really need a name, does it? Uh, as long as we don't end up having three lobbies like in Metalworks, I think we'll do fine. Yeah, it's not really a lobby either, so you can't really call it lobby. I guess that's a good thing in hindsight. Yeah, in hindsight, yeah. Excellent, but... You can call this one... The the one that's, uh, you know, when you walk from mid into second on, and then you end up on top of, on top of the uh, the big crate that's got a walkway above it. That's oh yeah, that's bats, right? 
I don't know, I call it the whole area with the indoor areas cafe because it's, it's it's sunshine cafe in, ex- in execution. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Yeah, in execution, yeah, but it's it's more of a more of a bats than anything else. Yeah, you know, but... I mean, true. And then I mean, you've got catwalk, which is slightly different. A catwalk is not made clearly. Yeah. That's just like, what if we took the granary catwalk and put it on a different map and see how that works out? Yeah, it'd be Which, interesting to find out what, what Yellen calls it. I mean, I'm sure he calls that one catwalk, I don't know what the rest of the map, but... I mean, you you don't just take something this clearly inspired from Granary and just expect to have it be called anything else. Yeah. <laughs> be true, be true. Oh uh, yeah, but this is... You can see if you look at random parts of the map, immediately where a lot of inspiration comes from. You have to crates and... Uh, Catwalk from Granary, you have to like mid second transition structure be very sunshine with the free flank approach, the little double slope, the catwalk area reminiscing to uh, Cafe in a way, I suppose, as well. However, the second flank, as we talked about before, is uh, significantly different to sunshine. I guess there's still like a vague idea here where that goes really deep into point in the grand scheme of things. I guess sunshine has that kind of idea as well. Where, you yeah. know, if they're not physically standing there blocking you off, you could try to sneak through into lobby really quickly. We'll see how it works out here. A lot less fun to stand close to this flank, I would imagine. But we'll see how they take the actual approach here in the end and how the midfight works out, first of all, as well. Maybe they will not all die like on Gunnery, but... Maybe. But I want to see the first soldier that falls victim to shooting rockets vertically up at a scout. That's usually what ends up happening on this mid. Anyway, we are heading to it. Huge is there first. Feels a little bit slow to this mid. And it uh, looks like the red team is going to be trying to take over to this left-hand side. We're going to roll catwalk. Immediately dies! He's the first one that goes down in this mid fight. And Age is going to go down as well as they clean up both medics on this mid fight. But blue team is a lot worse off as they completely wipe. Okay, so if you look really closely, you can tell that this is inspired by Granary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, the medic, when the medic is the first no one to die, all. it's just a copy paste of Granary. <laughs> <laughs> then you know that you have successfully replicated the greatness that is Granary, but let's see how they take it from here though. I mean, certainly it will be a lot harder now into last with no Uber just inside just yet. Oh, my, well that point might be very Granary, but last very much isn't, so things will change here right away. And they don't want to stay on last at all actually, look at that, they're trying to get out from this right side area through river and get anywhere with this push at all. Big one by Poppy right away. Great big time, but he has so much damage, yeah, to actually just open things up. It's gonna be tough standing in anymore. Yeah, it looks like the Phoenix is just taking the high ground. High bomb comes in once again. Haunts, whiffs his rockets. He does get it in the end on stage and the last rocket remaining. Huge getting cleaned up as well. Phoenix manages to find the scattergun shot and he needs healing up desperately if he's gonna survive here. But these red scouts are doing such a good job. KPN's gonna be running in. Gets a nice pin to maneuver and calls for his team to come in. They do so and Demore's trying to flank from the backside and Soapy on the flank as well. Now Demore is just now stuck in behind inside of what looks like River a little bit, but... It's River. Uh, it's River. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. There's a fish in there. Where the fish live? Exactly. Oh, Miller gets forced on mid as well, unfortunately. Does get picked up by these soldiers. If they pick up Soapy Meister, it might be okay. They do in the end. They're going to start stacking onto this capture and uh, see what they can do. Busting through this choke point. Only oh, one demo there to stop them as... Oh, Hans does win that. Holy God. Soldier beating the scout on this map. Apparently crazy. I was looking at the mid fight for 90% of that and I look back what they're doing and Hans is just like missing three rockets shooting up like you said earlier. But <laughs> it's the last one. <laughs> and that's all that matters, baby. We win those. Yeah, we do win those. Well done, Haunts. Firing rockets vertically up. That's what we like to see. That's the uh, screw it. One of these is going to land. <laughs> just fire them up. Um, he can't double anyway. jump all of these. Yeah, he can double jump everything, but usually it's the AD strafe. But Haunts are getting juggled in this doorway. Huge just doing his best to stop the soldier from holding the door. But it's basically even Ubers, but a little bit better building out of age in here is he's going to find his Uber charge first. But there is always that threat of a back cat, KPN on the back end, also the sticky trap from Phil does pick up Demol on that shutter. And Haunts going in for an immediate sack, doesn't find too much there and goes down. Level such a gun, but the skip jump from Pappy inside of the point and he eats a sticky and a sentry gun shot and goes down. Okay, I'm gonna need Yellen in chat to pop off real quick. Uh, can you wall bug on the ladder on second next to the forward one? Because if I see a ladder like this and I can wall bug there, that's very funny. Oh, um, and also would instantly kill anyone leaving forward spawn. What's that I smell, <laughs> Dum Tum? I smell espionage. I smell baguettes. There's baguettes in the oh, air. Oh no, it's a French spy. There's a French spy. The he's most a powerful being on the planet. Yeah, God, unbeatable, some would say, but he's lurking in the lobby at the moment. 
one of their the broadest lobbies uh, that's currently available. Um, I would say log it's kind of similar to Logjam actually that that lobby. Uh, kind of I guess yeah with a lot less high ground structure I guess going on. Unfortunately, uh, the blue team did also smell baguettes and managed to kill Demore, but Horns goes for a sack, goes down. Level 3 gun up on this, uh, basically on next to the point, and this is such a good gun spot. Whoever found this is a genius. What, putting it in the middle of the point? <laughs> yes, so it watches every door. Incredible. <laughs> um, Uber Charge comes out, Ams is going to try and take the trade onto the blue team. His does last a little bit longer, but not long enough. And they're going to start retreating. Spam now onto the gun is a good opportunity for them to run in. Phoenix just runs in with the beam and lots and lots of damage being dealt. Bolder going to get caught on Engineer. Once manages to get behind into Secret and he's going to jump all the way back up through River. KPN as well, forcing Soapy Meister away. Does find that kill as well. Phoenix going down to a straight pipe from Huji. And uh, that might stop them in their tracks here. 450 HP on this heavy is going to be hard to rip through as Phil starts walking in through the doorways. He's eating a bunch of spam here. Pappy's going to try and play that point, get shredded by this heavy. And uh, Phil is just going to jump away here. There's no way they can continue playing this. Oh, that's unfortunate. I feel like Papi either went later or just somehow just dodged a little bit back instead of directly committing to the point as much as he did. Just lived longer somehow. He could have made the point a lot longer there. Been a lot more of a nuisance, but just, you know, man voted. I'm going to lift this one box point, trying to bait for the rest of the team to get in, but not quite working out, I'm afraid. We'll see a bit of a reset here now. Again, it's time to be built again. This time around, just at spawn for the time being, like we talked earlier. Spawn gun can't be good. It doesn't cover points, so it's reasonable enough. But if Baldur gets a chance to put it forward again, I'm sure he will. And there we go. Back forward, it goes into the middle. We'll see. I don't know, it didn't last very long last time. So it's good to see you described it to be. It hasn't looked like that in execution yet. Well, it's going to help out there. You can spam on to uh, fill it. But like you mentioned, when it's on the low ground, you are prone to those iron bombie pipes. So... Unfortunately, it does go down pretty much immediately, which is kind of the kind of the advantage of having a gun on an elevated position is that you have to spam up at it, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But I think something that matters a lot with the middle gun here as well that, unlike Snakewater middle gun, uh, you can actually shoot it from all directions as the team yes. looking in. Like on Snakewater, the the left big entrance, you just can't do anything to the gun from basically unless you're really far in or like actually send someone like to peek over the fence really miserably. And waste probably their lives trying to actually get to that position. So if you don't uh, die a little bit more stickies. process in that sense, where it's still kind of has the same approach here, but it's still very easily shootable. And there you go, big trades coming out with this two for two right away. Not what the blue team would like to see with this Uber, especially since they do not get to agent at all. Yep, and uh, the Uber comes in because Mulo goes super weak. He, I don't think he wanted to use in that situation. He just got super weak in River, but uh, agent just holds on to his Uber, doesn't panic, doesn't use it off, and they're just going to be bang chill on last. They're going to wait for. A, for a round reset by the looks of things so you know just chilling relaxing blue team still have a bit of an opportunity here to go in they have 46 seconds remaining so they have enough time to get an uber charge if they want to or they can just yolo sack into last yeah we'll see what it will be here in the end gun is up again not quite in the funny middle spot right now a little bit further back but it's still a decent spot i mean it doesn't cover you from people getting in shooting it on the way there but it still will cover point if they don't get rid of it fast enough so it still serves its purpose just fine back there. Here we go. Push in once again from Riverside. Getting in here. Ooh, double one cutting it close there, but gets the beam in the end. In the end, and you're just going to start layering up the stickies in River, because that's going to be the point that they have to repush from. Phoenix getting caught here. Papi going in for a bit of a high bomb. Trying to land on the seven. Good damage has been dealt. This is everything they need. They kill Ams as well. Once is going to start playing that point. Scout going on to it, trying to defend it. KPN also on top of it. They're going to get this capture, Dum Tum. It looks so unlikely, but they just managed to pull out a lovely bomb from Papi, and then it's all over. Yeah, I was worried they actually went point early at the end. Enough people still to shoot them down after their bomb. Everyone just hit all their shots just fine, clutching it out. That's all you need. There we go. That's the lead right there. Puppy's team on first map and already ahead on the second one as well. Not a big lead and it's been a close round, so can't take anything for granted. We'll see if everyone dies again on Bitlow first of all. Huji nearly died at the start of I it. Mean, he missed a health pack. He could have picked up, but he just walked. Didn't walk close enough to it and jumped and ended up on 20 HP on the ground. Does get that big kit on mid though. And they're going to start walking around here. Ams is playing on catwalk. Pappy's going to go in there to contest him. And he has that high ground over him right now. And they're taking a 1v1. Ams is actually going to win it in the end. In a very unfavorable position. Same thing's going on the other side. Horns versus Super Master. But he managed to just get a bomb all the way around. Lands on top of Agent. Gets those rockets off. And they get the kill. Mula on the high ground. They're getting piped down. And Soapy Meister is going to eventually clean him up. Horns is super weak. Goes down. And it's just going to be Lone Survivor KPN versus the world. And Soapy Meister is going to win that one out with the assistance of Demol.
All right, all works out in the end here. There we go. Maybe there's still a chance for them to come back in the best of three. Mid point being capped already having eyes on second on top of that is really, really nice. However, it does mean agent goes without uh, any caretakers for a second here. So, I mean, it wouldn't have been a big advantage. It's no advantage at all now. A little bit unfortunately, but not a big deal as long as they can actually keep their ground a little bit. I don't know if they can, though. Second point will be contested by the blue team in time. They only have, like, two people peeking around there before. That's not going to stop six respawners once they get there. So... Despite the best efforts, it's only going to be the midpoint in the end. Indeed, and uh, I'm going to be building this one up. I'm kind of sad that we're not seeing that many crits creeps, to be honest, when they're, when they're testing out this map. I would oh, like to have seen fair. A, Yeah, I would have liked to have seen a crits there from Agent, you know. You build that really small ad and you just try and muscle a crits ad through a doorway. I mean, that that's always interesting and it's something to watch, especially in these cups. But it looks like they're just going to take it slow, take it seriously, and uh, get this uh, Uber charge going. But they're trying to bust onto this flank, which. Um, in theory, it seems pretty good because, oh my god, Phil, what a trap. I didn't even see that. It's it got a trap on that other side of the door. Yeah, you wouldn't think a double man would even be holding anywhere close to that 90% of the time, but maybe playing a little bit heads up, and that's what we were talking about as well. Things just developing, people metagaming each other here a little bit will make a big difference as we go along right now. Not what you think to expect here on the first try of the map, maybe, but the more you play it, suddenly you realize maybe we should watch that thing a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Because that is the kind of way you get in, right? That you can get the best kind yeah. of sack opportunity in a second is get behind into that lobby and then bang, you're in a prime position. Um, but no, Phil knows the, knows the map apparently already. He's, he's playing as if he's been playing it for a thousand years. Pub comes down to Phoenix through the choke though. Yuji just finds it and uh, manages to get that scout kill. But looks like now the blue team, they can be backing up a bit. Lots of damage into Yuji. He does get cleaned up from a long range scout gun shot from KPN though. And uh, they are going to start taking this, and they get the force out onto Agent, but they've lost players for it. They've got people in the respawn queue currently. They do use that on the point. They're bobbing it towards the choke. Phil finds it in the end, gets Agent, but it's going to be Ams and Soapy Meister in behind. And they've got three times on this capture as well. Ams getting launched up into the high, into the skybox right there. Boulder and going to be rejoining him as well and fighting towards second as Soapy does go down the end, Boulder getting cleaned up as well, Ams goes in separately, he dies as well, and now it's just trickle feed. The more I think about the trap from Philip earlier, uh, the better it gets actually, because you can watch that trap from point, which is something you can't do in like Gullywatch if you want to have a trap in like lower lobby big door area, right? That's this true, is, That's yeah. a sticky trap you often have on that moment if you're actually holding in that area. However, if you're holding like anywhere else by point, standard hold, a choke basically, you can't do that at all. Why is Mula on point? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he precious, want to precious die? Precious cap points, baby. Uh, but yeah, like that, that, that is like making that option be so much better actually than it would be in comparable areas in other maps. Yeah, true. That is very true. You are right. Especially since the elevations there on Gully Wash is yeah. kind of hard to even see the door. But Sentry Group going down immediately. They've used the E-Roll on the last. Phoenix is going to start clearing up the stickies. UG is hiding in secret at the moment. And he does run out. Phoenix just two shots him. Oh my god. But... And he also gets the kill up onto Demol, and they capture out this point. It's going to be 2 0, very clean last push. This was a great choke because of the, let's call it, secret area, I guess, making a huge impact on the map, right? Like, it would be so much harder for anyone to get to point the way they did just now during the Holy War fight. Because if they were, were going point from the left there, but it's the same level as everyone else, they would have just gotten melted instantly. But being yeah. able to like be below them makes a huge difference getting to play point there. Huji actually picks up the health pack this time, so he's not 20 HP coming into mid. And now Big. they're going to start playing it. Horn's going in for a very, very early bomb. Lots of damage on to Agent. He gets cleaned up by the sticky bombs of Phil. And now they're just going to bunker Mula in uh, in bats, it looks like. They've, they've surrounded the meta. Get down, Mr. President. But the downside is they're on the wrong side of the point. So they do actually have to come back into the mid uh, to refight here. Otherwise, they're going to get back, capped all the way back to their own last. As Ams bombs in, goes down. They get this boulder on the cap as he gets launched back off it's super going in for a bomb we're just dodging away from all of the damage kp and get launched in the air but he manages to survive it and cleans up UG along with the fact and boulder also going down is going to count for a beautiful wipe and agent has spawned all on his lonesome i really wonder what these maps would have looked like if we played these like like four or five years ago when there was a whole lot less rotating enemy side on bits that we have nowadays <laughs> that was, oh, you, like, you know uh, both teams would be bombing into each other immediately. We have Cadus double sticky jumping into the enemy team. <laughs> like, it's just interesting to consider, right? Because that's something that changed in the matter. Like, so much in the last three, four years were, like, on mids that previously was so little enemy side play. It's not very common. Previously it was, like, what, Badlands and, like, Gullywatch where it happens every once in a while. Uh, yeah. Now, like, it didn't happen on, like, big mid fights like Process or Sunshine and stuff like this. But it's really common now. And it just really reshapes how you have to actually, actually design these midpoints as, as well. 
yeah, you can't allow people to just rotate for a billion years, uh, otherwise the mid-fight will like never end sometimes. But, you know, they go for the super push, they end up losing horns, so they're just going to start backing out here. Pappy's just poking just to see what the swap offs look like, and no one swaps off in time. The heavy stays, the pyro stays, so unable to do much. Going to jump back to the rest of his team, and they're going to start building up the super once again. Agen has his uber ready to go now. And they're going to start moving up through river and they're going to go through the top right area to get the high ground when they come into this point and it's like pappy is aiming for a bit of a high bomb here but starts spouting out his rockets onto that high ground trying to deal as much damage as he can before he goes he gets knocked down low river is going to hit him with a bow and they can once again going to see what they can do amazon rash just stuck through the front flank though and kpn launched in the air and he's gonna oh my god he kills am that's <laughs> insane they were both was a little die. bit lost <laughs> off all moment but they found each other again a brace is driven in, like, death in this case, I guess. Both go down in the end here, but the red team is still pushing through anyway. They bust a flank on that to make the space they need to maybe make this a second spot push. They're certainly getting the early force out of this oh, one no. as well. However, two down with this is a bit awkward now. Blah has to really get out of them badly as well. Gets back to the rest of the team. However, Phoenix will not be the one to get the flash at the end. Only the demo man. Scout goes down. Numbers are traded left and right. It's Red Team holding on for dear life right now, but they have better position and they're making use of it nicely. Big double push there by Demol and Sophie just on the combo against the Medic. Get KPN as well. Really good focus fire between the two of them and the rest of them. Just have to defend the castle, but it looks like we are crumbling a little bit. They do still get Horns. Oh, sorry, Horns still gets Agent even. And that is at least something, but that, that was just a bit too nice of big, uh, late aggression there by the Red Team to still manage to muscle through all of this. Castle not defended, defended and Zelda is dead, unfortunately. The bad um, ending. The bad ending, yeah. So Mular is going to have a very, very small ad to play with. By very small, I mean around 15%. So they're going to start making their heals, well, getting their heals together. And they're going to start pressuring in towards mid, actually, most likely. They have their heals first, and uh, they want to do mid fight 2.0, and no one is holding this choke whatsoever. So they're just walking in for free. Yeah, they're playing really, really passive. Maybe a little bit too much, though, but blue team seeing all of that right taking advantage of this as much as they can taking as much space as they're given at least so they're getting all the way to point and looks like actually they're just getting it to okay and i slay that might be a re-push waiting to happen however <laughs> Muller is playing mind games he's caught doing the uber uber charge ready because he knows that the enemy team know that they have ads so he's just fake calling to uh you know try and get him to leave the point but up to 85%, but Mula was bowing a little bit, so now it's basically even. Agent's about to get his Ebra, and they're playing it as if it's ad. Unfortunately, Agent's run away with 95%. He needs to connect his beam for the love of God, and he does in the end. Manages to pop out the Ebra charge. And uh, KPN does manage to escape back to his medic. Boulder runs through the choke on his own, and now they're on second. They are currently where they're supposed to be. Soapy going in for a high bomb onto the second point. Does land one rocket into Philip, which strips his overheals, but doesn't do a lot else. But Boulder manages to get the kill onto Phoenix. The flank now coming in from behind. Mula has been sandwiched, and Horns also going down here. It's going to be a full wipe, unfortunately, for the blue team. That flank was a really cool idea until you realized that this was going to be a scout spawning behind them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even if the bombs were any worse, like the, the scout just eats your life at the end. So uh, a, a rough one to have to fall back that much. I mean, they really wanted point. I think they just overvalued Captain there a little bit too much. If they just denied him getting back into the second point, it would have probably been a whole lot better in the end. <laughs> Amps is like, I'm free! And then Horns high bombs around choke to kill him. Like, <laughs> it's incredible. And Horns just jumps away, skipped away from that scout. But... Blue team managed to retake this mid. I mean, a little bit of a trickle feed from the red team just then. Manages to cost them one whole point here. Two players being dead. They are going to get Ams on the forward spawn, luckily. Um, so only one player is going to be back spawn. That's going to be Demo when it's one scout. So that does actually open up an opportunity here for Soldier Wars to go in for a very early high bomb. And that looks like well, that is going to be kind of the case here as they start bringing the heels around to the flank. Horns is going to go in. High bomb ensuing. Horns going to be landing on to Age and he finds the headshot rocket. Beautiful stuff. You know, you won't hear this from commentary a lot, but I, I'm kind of upset he hit that, to be honest. I, I really <laughs> wanted to see uh, this point stem it a little bit, to see how they approach that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was the textbook opportunity to go and say, yeah. you know, but, you know, shit happens, I guess. But uh, very unfortunate that you don't get to witness your stalemate for a little bit longer. But you can see more of Last Holds versus Full Uber Charge, huh? I mean, huh? That's exciting, I guess. That's the equivalent to we have at home. <laughs> oh, let's see how it goes. Push from River as we've seen most times so far. So I get to deeper to the point right away. So makes sense as the area of approach here. No early cap time is a little bit unfortunate, I suppose, because now there's a lot of time for everyone to get back out of spawn. Something that people punish a lot better as the pushing team on the previous map. But this time around, they're really just not getting to cap much at all. Yeah, no, they don't actually get much done. But Am's decided to a very sticky trap there, and Soapy. 
Coming through with it, seeing what he can do here, even though his comrade has perished into the respawn queue, but it is still a 4v4 situation with a new advantage for Agent. Lots of damage being done to Soapy once again. Horns managed to get through the flank as well, so he's going to pick up that frag in the end with the assistance of Philip Sticky Bobs. And Huji is caught in here. Oh my god, Horns with the direct. This man is on fire today. Well, CR7 is making himself useful. Let's see what the rest of them can do. All the river and look at that. If you have an opportunity to chase people down this river, it's so good. Every soldier can shoot down on low ground on them. The Devilman has like the easiest spam angle of all time. And if you are leaving late from there, you're just getting melted. I wonder if uh, they've designed it so it's like a perfect like grenade launcher arc, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you just shoot down and it just will hit everything. It just hits everything. Like, there's nothing you can do. You can strafe left or right. You're going to still hit the pipe, unfortunately. So, yeah, I've got another mid fight. That's just the kind of thing that you just have to, you know, if that's in a map, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. It's just a thing you have to think around when you're leaving that area, right? You just yeah, got to be a yeah. little bit more ahead of the curve there. Otherwise, you will get greatly punished. Oh, Horn's going for a bomb. Pappy in with another bomb. They pick up Agent pretty much immediately at the start of this mid. And uh, yeah, it's it's granary. What can you do? Um, Ams is jumping in behind though. He's super weak in the choke. He doesn't need a health pack, but there's nothing he can do. He's desperately trying to get behind the med with the health that he did have, and now he doesn't have any HP. And the scout yoinks his health pack. So Ams is just in Sag mode trying to stand there. Mula does go pretty weak, but Ams, he's bing chilling. He's uh, not been spotted. Fails his rock and jumps, jumps away, and uh, might die here. All right, mid-win once again. I mean, I kind of was foreshadowing it earlier, right? This was the better map for these two teams, for the, uh, for the blue team yesterday, and it's certainly interesting. Yeah, right? the they have figured out something in the last five minutes, and... <laughs> something? <laughs> you know, it's just it went from a pretty tame beginning to just a really dominant performance now from Poppy Squad. Indeed, and uh, they just seem to have it down here. 9 minutes 40 remaining on the clock, and they're going to take the supercharge in. Uh, the sentry gun up on the right-hand side, getting batted away from the gun. They have got Soapy up on the missile, and he's going to be jumping all over the place, just dodging some rockets. Uh, Scout gun is going to push him off the high ground, though. KPN's going to clean up that frag as Haunts does go down, as well as Pappy. They have got Ams as well in secret, and KPN going to get cleaned up as well by the Tommy Slab that comes out. Good damage into Moodle, though. He serves back in towards Lobby, and he's going to leave the shutter and survive. And he's going to head all the way back to mid on his lonesome. Well, it's a long walk back home, and that's a lot of uber advantage agents getting in return out of this whole situation. So even without the med kill, you, you basically just did if you killed everyone else, if you really think about it. And uh, the disadvantage will maybe just give them a chance. However, that woman down early, and Holtz gets away from it once again, and look at that, Amps tries to help, but he just gets baited. Everyone recognizes they can just play quick off the demo kill, and Amps getting caught in crossfire makes things so much worse now as the push just keeps on going. Uh, this is very, very sad. Uh, Boulder and Agent are... Uh... Having to run away with their own Uber charge all the way back to their own last. Baldur's trying to make it work, and he does manage to get the kill onto Haunt with Demol, but nothing else is going to come out of that, unfortunately. And Mula is going to get his Uber charge and have this ad to play with, but what can you do, man? I mean, they ran in and they were in a position where they wanted, to, they knew they wanted to use the Uber, but they lost too many players to make it work. Yeah, we'll get them yet again into a really nice playable position. This time, no river push, just straight from lobby, going in here, bombing uh, the ghost of a gun from last hole's past, but it doesn't matter, they're getting on point this time really <laughs> early, and it might just be good enough to look at that. Phoenix has so much space to dodge at point with the secret area, making it so much easier to survive at this point for him. And there you go, doesn't have to dodge into any players, can just dodge into a little corner and be very safe. To deal with the rest of them and there's the cleanup coming in. Rally cap time this time around, making up for a gun spotted very late. And gets them the point anyway. Match point. Match point indeed. Let's see what they can do here uh, on the red team. It's a very tall order to get five rounds in seven minutes, but we can see if they can try and do it. But bomb coming in nice and high. Horns is going to start doing a lot of damage and they're just going to rotate around this point once again. You mentioned it before, lots of teams start to rotate, but Ams. Going in for a high bomb, this looks like a full commit, and he does commit, and with his rockets, Soapy going in as well, and they do get the kill to Moola, and Agent has managed to survive, since so this is the start of the special gravy that they needed, and KPN in behind, bomb in from Phil, and these have been so successful in the past, unfortunately whiffed one pipe, good damage though onto Agent, and looks like it's going to be a 2v3, but Medic and manages to win this one out every single time basically, but KPN with a two shot to Demol, everything's changed! And now KPN's got to win this one one with Boulder, but it's very unlikely. And there you go. They managed to win out in the end. So Agent manages to get his full Uber charge as well. All right. Well, 
I don't think the four oh TCM comeback is happening probably, but maybe we'll get some round on the board on the red side. Get themselves at least a nice little finishy after a little bit of a beating for the past few minutes, I suppose. Well, not a good start Second? with Amstying, but you know what? Surely it's oh, fine. No oh, that's so upsetting if you're horns. He jumps up river thinking, oh yeah, the red team aren't quite on second yet. Jumps around the corner and there's a there's a combo just hugging the wall. Oh, and they use the Uber into last. Hold up. Man just they just go the straight cap. away, but they, they have, don't have yeah. second yet. Yuji's on it on very low health. Oh, sticky trap and Yuji blocks it in the end. He manages to defend himself, but Soapy's going in on his own. There's no Uber charge to play with. They're desperately running into last. Horns is going to find the rocket onto Boulder. Agent's playing this point. He's super weak. It looks like he's going to go down here. Deadman also going down. Am's going in for a bomb. Lands on Phil's face. And he does get some good damage on this point, but he's also going to go down here. And uh, yeah, it's looking very sad after that one. <laughs> Everyone beefed a lot there, actually. <laughs> like, even before the push happened, Mula just like drops a scout after what she uses. Nuba does nothing at all. And Soapy dies in for nothing as well. <laughs> Everyone just trying to be a hero, but everyone's kind of falling flat a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, I suppose Debo again tried to be the hero here, but there's two people on last, though. Uh, fairly unlikely. Oh, you can make that free. Puppy comes back as well. It does, however, mean there's a lot of people missing on the combo and they're taking advantage of that. Just them down with whatever little they have left anyway, right? Yep, they're just having the full raw DM fight on second right now. And Boulder is going to have to give up second with his life. And uh, there you go. Second cap goes through. And KPN and Moolah are spawning together. So no one has to go back for this medic. So it's all good for them. They can march on towards this midpoint. Forward spawners are going to come out from the red team in the number of every single one of them in the end. So they are going to make a recontest in towards mid. Ams and Soapy are going to be moving in as these soldiers bombing. Also at this point trying to block it. And uh, they do manage to get a good block and loads of cap time for this blue team. But Soapy is super deep, massive damage. That was about 300 damage with two rockets. But crazy stuff there coming out from him as they defend this point. Horns going in from bombing behind gets levitated by Boulder. And they're continuing this aggression dump tum in towards second, seeing what they can do here before they inevitably lose oh, to the clock. Huge shots by both Scout plus KPN. Boulder over hitting some nice stuff there. KPN, however, stuck alone in the back lines of the fit. They're taking this huge fight, but the player behind is not really doing enough in the end to really be the clutch factor they needed and MC's team still comes out on top. It's gonna to be a rough one to actually convert from this though. There's no advantage in their favor anymore and the spawns are there very shortly and also just walking through sticky trap that is not being watched actually. Ah, oh, never mind. We're just getting double banned. Never mind. It was yeah. all by design here. <laughs> Agent that is so... Yeah, Agent serves, serves all the way up to the missile. Incredible stuff. If you call I'm bombing on this map, are you a soldier going deep or are you just standing up there? He's just standing up there, 100%. If you say anything else, you're wrong. Um, but Boulder going in, once again, desperate. Psycho sack for the point, doesn't get it in the end. Another defense from the blue team. I mean, it's, it's looking the curtains for them, unfortunately. And uh, likelihood is after this that Papito is going to go face Salentes in the final. It's looking like it. However, what if Soapy Spy just gets them four points in a row now? Could happen. Oh. Bombing. The piss is trying his best. That is nothing in comparison to Phoenix. How's this man still alive? Okay, he, finally. He's dead now. Demo he will, he will was playing a very dangerous game now, not hitting him enough. Did they actually find the spy? Or like, no. Oh, no, oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm yeah, being no. subtle about it, Diva. Uh, any <laughs> GG, GG plugin enjoyers? I like how equal it correctly identifies frag movie time in the chat. However, everyone's just doing the dumbest shit, so none of these kills look nice at all. Ams <laughs> <laughs> with those... the back cap. Don't worry about it. Oh, They're that's going the frag movie. Beep, beep. There you go. It's four oh, one. The no, okay. Consolation round, and now we're going to a mid fight. Now there's actual opportunities for you know frag moving material, unless one of them just goes pyro. You know, they stay heavy on mid. Which yeah. honestly. I don't know why no one has tested it on Evo of these maps yet. That's true. I mean, you do have a catwalk as well. Yeah. I mean, how could it possibly be bad? Um, I, I've, I seen, can't it, see I've seen it win Fresh Meat games, so it must be good. It must be good, yeah. If, if you've seen it in Fresh Meat, goddamn. Upper Prem, of course. Dude, these maps just fucking. Why are the maps even going to mid anymore? Yeah, this just, is a sit and spawn and wait for the game to end to pad your I think locks. the first team to just go 5 to mid and get the medic in later is just gonna fucking reinvent the meta on spell. Yeah, very true, yeah. 
gonna just change everything. All right, Demo the lone survivor here in the end. We'll take home the midpoint at the very least. Ah, it's still a tiny chance to get a second one. Make this score look a lot better than it uh, arguably was. But you know, if they get these rounds, they deserve them, I guess. Let's see what comes of it. It's not good advantage though, either. With this little time not being an actual good advantage, it's rough. Pappy's on med. Oh, more importantly, Soapy is on 130 ping, uh, Beggar's Bazooka. I don't know about that. There's like three different ways you can't aim with this gun just now. But he's not stopping. And you know what? I guess it assisted getting the medic, so that's good enough. We really take those. They pushed in from the flank as the bombs came in. I guess you could have done that without 130 ping much easier, and most importantly, also without the Beggar's Bazooka much easier, but it happened anyway. He did it against the odds. They're taking home the second point, and maybe this goes enough. Ah, medic dies late here. Maybe. Maybe they do do this. See, so yes, these spawners coming in barely to are uh, here in time. Horse Poppy actually the damage class this time around as well, but Poppy on point. It's just gonna get melted instantly, and Horns don't even get the chance to block this anymore. 4 2. They, they sort of made it happen, maybe. Let's right, so come back in some ways, I guess. In some those. ways. All right, no well, well there's a window. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and clearly there was no medics on any of these fights anyway. <laughs> yeah, to, not required. Decidedly. Yes. See, who's you be bombing now? There's no medic to nuke with the sticky jumper bomb. Yeah, so we might have to bomb him with the uh, beggar's bazooka as well. Could genuinely be a strategy on this map. But anyway, GG is called. That is going to be it. 4-2 is the final scoreline, and uh, Team Papita is going to be heading through to the final to face against Team Salentes. So, incredible stuff. Opinions on map done. Uh, I like this map a lot, actually. I still, obviously, am um, an entropy enjoyer more so than this, but this is, uh, I think every update is turning out a little bit better than before. Uh, my first instinct on this map a few months ago was that uh, I just had the big sunshine comparisons in my mind most times. It's a lot less of that, I feel like. Uh, as time yeah. goes on, I think it's just getting a little bit more of its own identity in that regard. I think the bit fight being, uh, I think the most change point as well is very noticeable and plays a lot differently now as well. And for this wave, I think both these maps have like one point that is like just death incarnate if you have any good start at all. And uh, if you get a good uber advantage push into entry point last, you should take it every time. And if you get the better start on this mid fight, it will just be a meat grinder in your favor. And I think that's a really nice dynamic to have here on these maps. Just the one point that's really dangerous to play into. Yeah, I agree as well. Like, um, uh, basically, my my full opinion of this map is that I think it's extremely polished in how it flows. Um, it, it just seems like it. It seems like it could be already put in the season. You could t you could just take this map and slap it in the season. I don't think anyone will really complain that much about it. Um, it's a uh, def yeah, definitely good. Apparently, we have in interviewees. Um, who have we got? Let's see. We'll, we'll, find one. One. we'll see. We'll see. I do like about this map that you can see that the the last point is just okay. What if we take the sunshine pro across the structure, but actually put just like certain individual parts of different maps in that just will definitely like change the dynamics a lot and you have the secret area you have um you have the river entrance being like the way it is as well going really deep into the point like changing significantly how it works out and i like that a lot as well just you know sometimes you don't need to necessarily do something completely new just mix and match some parts and adjust them accordingly from there see how it works out and it might just make for a better hole in the end and uh, this is this is getting somewhere I'm really liking the last point of this map a lot nowadays. Yeah, me too. I I agree. I, I don't know how much I would actually change about these maps because I, I actually really like sub base like as a map in general. But okay, well, first of all, entropy needs a vent on last again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's step, step number one. Make things explode. That's all you want. And uh, oh. we are joined by Papita. Hello, how's it going? Oh, I'm going to mute him. There we there go. You go. <laughs> hello, hello. How's it going, man? You doing good? Uh, yeah, very good. Excellent. Very good. How did you find those games? Uh, pretty fine, pretty fine. Uh, Entropy spawns are really fucked up on CP4. So, uh, like too long, too short, or like? Like if you sack into last, you get a 24 second spawn. And it's like, it, it means you can't do anything into last. I think we had a round reset, right? So. Yeah, yeah. 
probably the reason you saw the realm res actually that might not have been on last i might have been on second as well i think yeah last just because the spawns are so long in general you don't really want to die so entropy is kind of hard because you can only really like snipe or spy or something i think yeah um, i can see that uh, equal probably wanted to hit uh, like a sweet spot and it's hard to do where some maps that we have have like really long spawn times in comparison to others a snake water got yeah. like, changed like that in the past as well when spawn caps got changed too yeah uh, i mean this yeah. is even longer than snake now this is like yeah like i think yesterday and you know, the first game we played was against ams i called for a four man because i was like you know i don't know how to play the game let's just send four in see if we can win and uh i think we all died and the longest spawn was 24 seconds, which is really long for uh, people that don't play sixes. It's like crazy long. Fair, fair, fair. That's that's uh, good feedback, good feedback. I think the last point changed, uh, outside of the spawn time, of course, the last point I think on entry changed a lot as well. And I believe you played the last couple as well. Anything on just how the last point is other than that, I guess, other than spawn time? I think there's too many hiding spots and the lobby is too many hiding like it's too complicated the lobby and i think the last has too many like secrets and places where people can hide it's really hard to like take an uber in lock stuff or kill people because also it's very big so the soldiers can just jump around and if you don't find like a meaningful kill with the uber you just lose because they have the spawn cabinet and you don't um i'm not sure if it needs to be smaller or something but i've i i don't know if how other teams find it actually uh, but our team finds it very hard to push entropy last, even with full ad, because uh, they can hide players and stuff like that. Fair, fair, fair. All right. Uh, as for this map, I think the first thing me and Lucky notice is that obviously, with fights obviously inspired by Granary, you can tell that just by looking at it, and certainly how it plays out as well. These like big bombs, medics die early kind of things happens on Granary a lot, and certainly on this fight, on this mid fight as well. How's that for you guys been? Yeah, I think subbase feels more like sixes when you play it but that might just be because uh it's kind of inspired from other maps so it's quite like the the skill of playing the map is quite transitive is that a word like it translates yes. well from the other maps to this map because you can make the comms for like granary on the mid and then you can call second like it's gully wash and then last is like a gully process hybrid so it feels quite familiar, at least for me, even though I've not really played it much. Um, I'm actually not a massive fan of the mid on, uh, sorry, on Subbase. I don't know why it just feels a bit weird. I can't. I actually think I prefer the mid on Entropy to Subbase. Uh, but I really like Subbase second and the last. I think the last is very balanced. Uh, like it's still defender favored, but. You have a lot of options with the secret, and there's not that good sniper angles for the last hold. Um, so I, I think it, it feels like uh, you're trying to break process. Actually, it feels easier than breaking process. Like it feels better than the last holds we have to break in ETF two O, like some snake or sunshine or some shit like this. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. All right. Uh, I guess speaking of last points as well, right? Obviously, a lot of concern for people a lot of times are sentry guns. We've only seen like a little bit here and there with the guns coming out. How's, uh, how's been thinking about the gun spots already been for people if much of that even happened? I think we saw like the one in the middle kind of process style uh, and just back by the wall, I suppose, on this map, for example. On subbase, sir? Yeah, on subbase. Uh, I think like on even or on. Ah, like yeah, on even, especially, right? That's like the that's like the kind of on even, like last yeah, of yeah. scenarios people dread the most, right? Gun on even is just it's close, like, yeah. I've actually not talked about it with my team, but maybe on even is good. Interesting. I, we, we're kind of just playing, like we have some yeah, ideas, and we're just playing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something I think that the map makers just need a lot of people playing for as well to see how that kind of thing works out. I suppose. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at the angles. I think the problem with having a close gun on this map is if you have a close gun, it's going to die from river. Yeah, I can it see would, that. It would have to pin river as well, and maybe you could put it like close by lobby right and river, but then you leave the far left door open from the fender pov. I actually think this last is very. Very balanced. I really like yeah. the last and the, the last and the second. And I think the lobby's been simplified a lot compared to previous versions, which makes it 
make much more sense. If I'm ex- like, it, it just flows a lot better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, balancing things around the sentry guns is like huge. So being able to have yeah, these spam swords where like not one gun covers everything is is like really really important. I think. Yeah. I so agree. that's gonna be really nice as well. I, uh, I don't know. I think Lucky had like uh, his one thing that he had pointed out at the beginning is that he's concerned about entropy second being too large. I think it was your point, right? Yeah, basically. But they slimmed it down since last time by the looks of things. But it's still extremely large like when you're fighting into it you've got coming on the, the low ground or through a very tiny doorway and both are really unfavorable when you're fighting into a spire and even if you do get in you still have to fight up towards that high ground and it's just horrendous how is that yeah i think it's pretty hard like uh it's a super defender favored i think like you just stand yeah. on the high ground and shoot down you sticky trap the door yeah, yeah, it's it like, kind feels... of like a spire on crack, you know, like a yeah. spire that your med can stand on. Yeah, actually, one thing I didn't say is uh, the the flank room, I don't know what it's actually meant to be called, but on our team we call it silly. Uh, the, the flank room, I think, is really weird because you can't climb the upper part of the room with your med. So if you're in that room, you have to go lower. And uh, it just, it feels very... Uh, weird to fight in and the, the flank feels just very odd i, yeah, I think like a... maybe the, the size of the doors are too small or the connectors are too tight or something but it feels yeah it's a very claustrophobic big door i feel like is what it probably yeah. is the closest to yeah so, so I, I can see that yeah maybe some space there is what i'm thinking and also i think you need the option to climb up like very comfortably with the medic like just a, a run i think you can actually like ramp slide up with scout speed up one of the props um but i think it should just it's like imagine you're playing process but you don't have the option to walk like up a pc yeah it, that's kind of how it yeah, feels yeah. and it's like so you don't have the opportunity to take a very very aggressive kind of uber in yeah, because exactly. you can't get out there yeah yeah and if, that's if exactly you, what you mean if you ever show in that room, the other team knows you have to push lower, so they can just ban everything lower and essentially ignore top to force a med, which yeah. is uh, also problematic, I think. Um, but I do, I do really like the mid on entropy. I think it actually plays pretty well. I think the o- the only thing I'd say about the mid is you are forced to walk out right, right, right on the rollout. Um, because if you try go left, the other team gets right quicker and they sticky you out. Um, yeah, there is a rollout you can do where you go through main door. Has that not been played around with too much? Uh, main. What do you mean? Like so like main you lobby, come out towards. Lobby? So you don't come out through lower lobby when you uh, you just come out next to the point basically instead. So you come oh, up like through, on like on the, the bridge. Yeah, yeah, like through the Z. Okay, yeah. yeah, we've not experimented with that, but we notice when I think that door's really small though. I think if you it come out through kind that of door, a small door, yeah. You you risk taking a lot of damage. The the one thing we noticed was just that right is faster than left. So if you go right and they go left, your demo traps a choke and you win. Like I think that happened to you guys yesterday. Lord. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the reason we actually won entropy yesterday and we were losing, and then we won two mids in a row where Philip just sticky choke and they couldn't walk in, and then we just won. So yeah, that I think I, this is really hard to balance for map makers because it's about rollout timings. And the speed at which players can get there, um, because other maps have like solved rollouts as well. Um, but I feel like this one is like uh, it's too hard counted, like the far right and left. Like for example, Gully, your demo can roll out choke, but you can also roll out big door. But it's still almost always better to go choke, right? But there's still the option to do the right side aggro mid. Whereas on uh, entropy, I I don't think there's the option to go choke. Maybe like you said, through the the Z, there's an option. Uh, but yeah, trying trying to balance which doors you can roll out through is probably really hard because it's about like the timing the demos get to mid, and then the timing the scout speed med gets to mid as well. Yeah. I'm sure next time we'll see the map is in the map cup at the end of the month. So I'm sure equal will have some changes ready by then, I suppose. Yep. Uh, I think the other maps are not in this cup right now. It's sultry and clear cut. I don't know. I guess just randomly, do you have any opinions on those two maps? Uh, me? Sorry. Or like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, guess sorry, what did you say? Sultry uh, and what? Sultry and cough clear cut are in the cup again. Cough clear cut. Yeah. So, really... well, my opinion, man. I'm stupid. 
True. Yeah, you're, you're pretty smart. <laughs> That's in your rank in Dota. Ah, oh, shit. Um, clear cut, I'm not really a fan of. I think it's really one dimensional. Good opinion. It's. Uh, I think Bagel does a much better job job of playing cough than clear cut and, ba- and bagel plays completely different to viaduct like yeah, bagel is extremely different thing, to yeah. viaduct but it's still a good cough map it just doesn't have to be a viaduct clone whereas clear cut to me feels like someone wanted to make viaduct but take the viaduct out and just have soldiers jump high behind all the time <laughs> it is just I, one bomb yeah yeah i don't really i think it's very one-dimensional and if we have to play it, i'd be pretty disappointed uh I think, it does feel like a soap DM server like most yeah. of the time. Yeah, literally. And uh, I think the I don't know what what map is not confirmed or is removed from the current pool. Does anyone know? Uh let's see what what it was. So definitely the higher diffs will play process and product, and then it was between a few of the other ones. I'm locked into my account right now, so I can't see. I bought it for I imagine it's probably like granary stuff or up for Yeah, like granary and sunshine and something else. Well, yeah, but it's it's like Okay, I understand phasing maps out, but I think you should only phase maps out of etf 2 l when the replacements are at least like reasonably good and playable. I think like phasing out a granary for like clear cut or actually I haven't played Sultry. I think Sultry looks fine. I watched uh, the watched the NA final last season. They played Sultry on it a few times, and it looks like it flows reasonably well. I think. The mid looks a bit weird, and the, maybe the last looks a bit weird, but the second seems like it has pretty good options, like the mid to second cellmate. Um, but I think to phase out like a staple map, like Sunshine or Granary, like the map needs to be really good. I think I think it's it would be a very weird decision by the admins to do this, and I, yeah. I wouldn't like to see that, to be honest. Oh, that's why democracy matters. At least you can vote for the map you yep. want to keep the most, I suppose, if nothing else, yep. out of the ones that are left here. So we'll see what it will be. Ah, oh, there we go. The maps are confirmed. Uh, process, Snake, Sunshine, Gully, Grand, Product. So, okay, no so what's unconfirmed? Bagel. Uh, the Bagel, Sunshine, and Metalworks. Wait, you said Sunshine, didn't you? Or am I crazy? Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah Sunshine is in there. Okay, oh, so... that was for, sorry, the other one was a lot of this. Would you swap Bagel with Viaduct? No, I think they should just both be in. I think they're yeah. both good maps, and it's like there's no reason to not have both of them. The only thing that maybe I'm thinking about from the admin's perspective is uh, maybe they don't like having a nine map pool for the like pick ban in the weeks. Maybe they want to get back to like just the. Uh, what did we stand? Eight? Was it eight or seven? Yeah, uh, one more than weeks, yes. Yeah, eight. eight. Then. So maybe they want to go back to eight so you can just do like, you know, each game per week like two maps per week with week one and week seven having a like a turnover on one of the maps like maybe that's what they want because maybe people complain about scrims being difficult because one team wants one map another team wants another Um, yeah i guess that one probably very much depends on like if there's going to be like a big outcry of player feedback if they like hate one way or another more than the other i suppose yeah Yeah. which i don't know i I think it is maybe a bit annoying, like scrumming with this, uh, scrumming with the pick ban for the weeks, because it means certain teams, like, just won't practice maps. I I also, <laughs> I, I'm going slightly off topic now, but I think the pick ban system in the playoffs is something they really need to think about. The pick ban system for nine maps is horrendously bad in etf 2 l at the moment in all playoffs for all divisions. It's a double ban, double ban which means you can ban out a game mode, like you can ban cough, like one team can just remove cough. And it also means that uh, after the first set of bans, you're only picking from five maps. And I don't really see the point of having a nine map pool if you have double ban, double ban at the start of it. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. You, it just defeats the purpose of having two cough maps. It defeats can... the purpose of people learning maps. It just yeah, means true. that having a strong map pool gets quite heavily punished into the season. Uh, well, not punish, but it just means like, Disincentivized, example, yeah. say you're a playoffs team, you know you only need to be good at five, six max, uh, maps, sorry, max. Because you get two bans, there's a pretty good chance that the team you're playing against will ban, you know, they ban two maps at random. They might not always be your best maps, you know? So uh, I think this double ban, double ban should be really 
I think it should be like ban ban from each team, pick pick, and then the, maybe the second phase can be double ban double ban, uh, because that would mean that um, that would just mean that there's much more options of maps to pick in the first set of picks um, for the playoffs teams. True, and it always yeah, means that all. each team will get a t- will get a map that they actually want as well. Yes. Yeah, yes, that's all exactly. there. All right, I'm sure we can have more of this discussion in the future with, with whenever Wandom and Lucky are cooking up another podcast of theirs. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's going to be someone in the future. I think now it's a good time for everyone to take a break. You guys get another 10 minutes real quick. Yeah. Take a breather, maybe eat something, and then come back for the grand finals we'll have in a moment. Uh, so we'll catch you guys after a short break.